Hello friends. Welcome to C# Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. In this part 5, we are going to see how to write application tracing information into Windows Event Logger. So, we will use Event Log Trace Listener class to achieve the goal. These are all the video slides from the previous parts. So in the last video, we added uh, listener support for uh, text file. Now we will proceed with the Windows Event Logger. So you may be aware of uh, Event Viewer. Um, the Windows Event Viewer will uh, capture the uh, information like um, error, um, warnings, information, all the stuff. So here, uh, this one is actually the icon for error information. So we are going to add information messages in this video to the Windows Event Logger. There will be multiple uh, Windows log entries, application log, security log, setup, system, all those event logs are available. Um, this example uses application event log. So, we can launch uh, this event logger by typing event log in the start menu. So, it will show an app and once you click and you will end up here in the uh, Windows Event uh, Logger. All right, so uh, now we will go to the presentation. So this is the class we will use to write something into the Windows Event Logger. So the constructor will be simple here. We will just provide a name and we will construct the object. So we are already aware um, there is an app and we have a trace source. So you have seen this multiple time. Then we have a listener. I mean, this is a filter trace switch. So as part of our previous video, you saw that the informations are written to debug console, text file. Now we are uh, supporting uh, one more Windows event logger. All right. So once uh, the object is constructed, we will use the add method as usual. How we added the text file listener, the same way we will use the add method. And if we want to remove, we will make a call to remove method and we will pass the same name here. And we will remove the um, event log trace listener. So we have two toggle button, right? One is for a text box and uh, I mean one is for a text log and another one is for an event logger. So this time we are uh, implementing the click event handler for this uh, toggle button. That means for this checkbox. So the name for that is uh, chk event log when it is uh, clicked. The same way how we checked for the 
text file we are checking whether the checkbox is in checked state based on that we form our uh, if else statement so in the else statement uh, we actually remove the listener so we will create event log listener and the name we will give it as event log listener and we use that name to remove it so this is the same technique we used when we created the uh, text listener so if you see the code is similar to what you saw previously this time the class is event log trace listener and we are constructing it and the constructor only takes the name there is no path here so previously for the file we the first parameter is the file path second one is the listener name here we just provide the listener name then from our uh, listener collection of the trace source we make a call to add method and add the event listener so if user clicked this first that means let's say they turned it on and they turned on the event listener also that means the add method will be called twice and the listener collection will have two entry like this so that means we have two custom i mean two listener plus one default listener so totally there will be three listener when these two is turned on so the code is simple here let's go ahead and implement it so when you open visual studio run it as administrator now we go here choose properties switch to events check the changed here we add our code and if you see now our uh, sample application supports three listener default listener text writer trace listener event log trace listener before running this first we will open the event logger so once i type event you can see a event viewer is displayed so you have to expand windows logs application so i already cleared all these logs so if you want to clear it you can right click and choose a clear log and if you want to save you can click save and clear or you can simply clear or you can just leave uh, the log as it is if it is important for you so since it's a personal pc i just cleared it so if you are using uh, um, if you are not using your own pc then i would advise don't clear the logs as somebody may need to view it all right so this is the windows event logger we just opened it now we will go to the sample we will run it so let me turn on both file log and event log and let me give um a number say 14 so here i am choosing get prime sum and so this is our first destination debug output window and if you see we turned on all the log listeners so we have the same information written into the text file listener so we need to refresh it so here if you see the information is written here as well so you are seeing prime number detected 1 2 3 5 
seven, eleven, and thirteen. Why? Well, because we gave fourteen, and that's what the UI also showing here. There are thirteen prime numbers. So now you have an idea of how we can trace the application information to different destination. So here you are seeing uh, debug output window, text to file, as well as uh, Windows Event Logger. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.